Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a quick fusion yoga workout for posture. We're transitioning from the core series that we're just finishing now to the posture series. 30 day core to 30 day posture series. To complete the whole series go on my website under blog. I have the schedules posted there. They're free to everybody and to work out with me daily do join my membership. I have 400 classes never seen on YouTube there ongoing new classes every week a few cl new classes every week schedules VIP schedules there so come on over we're going to be doing the posture challenge the coming month and after that for January I'm planning a weight loss challenge now how is your core feeling after the core challenge if you haven't joined it yet it's never too late you can just do the schedules now and the posture will be really important to everybody because we'll address proper posture and we'll work on the strength of the back again the strength of the core the lower back the strength of the hips so that we have proper posture and we look better than when we're hunching over and just kind of looking not confident right all right we'll begin this is a fusion so to do fusion workouts with me come to my website or stick around on my youtube and most of the people uh, doing my classes are not subscribers so please subscribe to my channel and um, click the um, bell button so that you get notifications for new workouts or new videos that i make and we are gonna get started coming at the front of the mat roll the shoulders back and down lifting through the crown of the head we're going to roll, draw a few circles with the shoulders here. Now feel free to use the strap for any of the clasping behind poses that we'll be doing during the class. Or you can clasp if you have enough range of motion. Open the arms out and do a few circles counterclocks and clockwise or backward and forward all right from here we're just going to do a few reaches forward kind of very fluid and reaching because when you move more in a more dramatic dancing way you're um you're warming up more of the back muscles good reverse it reverse it reverse it reverse it reverse it but from here we're going to go into a squat reach over the head chair pose or squat and tuck your tailbone slightly under chest open hands behind you interlacing clasping exhale forward bend softening the face muscles inhale halfway up shift your weight onto the right leg take the left leg behind you warrior three to one legged chair to warrior three to one legged chair to warrior three to one legged chair last warrior three level the hips from here we're going to open the left hip on top of the right and take a big step back warrior two still holding your clasp or the strap side angle open the left shoulder up lift the chest back up coming back to warrior two hands still clasping shift back to warrior three step the left leg back chair let's take the right leg behind warrior three one legged chair warrior three strong hips strong legs one legged chair warrior three one legged chair warrior three softening the shoulders 
one-legged chair last one warrior three open the right hip take a big step back the alignment of warrior two but clasping so a clasping warrior two to side angle open that right shoulder soften it come back up shift forward warrior three how's your balancing and back to chair excellent tuck the tailbone under all right shifting onto the right leg take a warrior three open the left hip on top of the right so this is a half moon variation step it back to warrior two open the chest look up soften the rib cage lifting through the sternum soften 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 sink a little deeper nice deep inhalations shifting forward warrior three chair shifting to the left leg warrior three right leg behind you half moon clasping step it back warrior two softening here softening the shoulders softening the face muscles great shifting to the front and chair reach over the head from here we're going to open the arms out and take a warrior three hands flying out step it back to high lunge and hands clasping behind you humble warrior left hand drops on the ground right arm up twisting lunge you can open the chest up towards the ceiling here go a little deeper in this twist very good hands on the ground and you're going to jump and switch your legs let's reverse this movement twist here left arm opening up and maybe even over from here lower your forehead down towards your ankle clasp and press your hands away from you softening inhale coming up to high lunge reaching over the head open the arms out and transition to warrior three onto the left leg step both legs down chair open chest from here we're going to go for an interval this is going to be fusion as i mentioned go for we're gonna do the following interval you can follow along with me at the, for the first rep and then we will complete 10 more reps so hands on the ground jumping back jumping out push up jumping forward come come onto your tippy toes and post up onto your tippy toes from here jumping back jumping out push up forward jump that's a two three straight back open chest pose up four five 
five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Jump to the front. Hold your tippy toe squat. Drop all the way into a squat. Yogi squat. Let's take the right arm out and around. Clasping behind, looking up. Changing sides. Both hands on the ground. Press your heels down and reach ahead of you. Softening the shoulders here. Soften, soften, soften. Soften, soften, soften. From here, straighten the legs, forward bend. Step back into downward facing dog. Let's take the right hand to the center of the mat, left hand the cross, twist, changing sides, looking under the shoulder, back to center, and walk in place here. From here, we're going to take plank, pull the belly in, and we're going to take right one leg up, and then the opposite leg. Let's go one, two, pulsing the legs, contracting the booty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right hand on the ground, side plank. Take your left leg up, bend at the knee, step it back, wild thing really, opening the chest. From here, back to star side plank, bend the knee, reach, and see if you can grab your ankle, maybe that's where you're gonna stay at. If you cannot grab your ankle, just stay in star side plank. If you can grab your ankle, open here. Very good. Plank. Left hand on the ground. Star. Side plank. Bend the knee. Drop it back. Wow thing. Really open. Pressing the sternum forward. Towards the wall in front of you. Back to star side plank. Bend. And open here. And plank. Knees on the ground. We're going to round the back, look towards the navel. Look up, cat cow, arching the back. Rounding, looking towards the belly button. Arching. Rounding. Arching. Rounding. Arching and for the next movement, we're going to walk the hands to the front of the mat Walk the knees towards the back and just move And what the somatic class is with that somatic movement just move in an intuitive way moving the spine Moving the hips in a semicircular motion Great, from here we're going to combine the two moves, cat cow with the circular and just move in one direction, the spine is forming wave-like movement, fluidity and changing the direction.
coming back to all fours now you can grab your strap if you're using a strap otherwise you don't have to take your strap around your right ankle with your right hand and from here we're going to take a side plank left knee on the ground left hand underneath the left shoulder bring your right elbow by your ear so the hand is reaching the arm is reaching by the head and bring your leg behind and release opposite side working with a little bit of funky back bends why not opposite side and release that feels good let's tuck the toes under from being from a position on all fours tuck your toes under and press into downward facing dog let's jump the feet around the hands into a squat Let's jump the feet a little wider now. So jump all the way out, kind of like a plie, but a little, uh, but your feet are facing forward. And we're going to start taking side to side, side lunges, low side lunges. <sighs> Flexibility. Assessment here. Good. Back to your wide squat. Hands on the ground. And we're going to jump back into plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Hands in prayer. Left elbow to right knee, twisting and looking over the right shoulder. Back to center, drop the back heel down. So now we're in warrior two alignment, hands over the heart, bring your right rib cage over the right thigh, right elbow on the inside of the right knee, open here, drop the shoulders down. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Inhale back to warrior two, reverse it, reverse the warrior two, straighten the lead knee, reach, reach ahead of you, triangle pose. Let's bend the knee, clasp under, side angle with a clasp. Walk your left foot in and come up, holding your right knee however you can, or your right leg, and straighten here. And back to side angle, bound side angle. Great, let's go in for a little arm balance chaturanga up dog down dog take the left leg up step it through high lunge hands in prayer twist right elbow on the outside of the left knee really soften the belly here Inhale, coming out of this warrior two, foot alignment, hands again in prayer. And we're going to bring the left elbow on the inside of the left knee. Really use the elbow to open your chest and drop the shoulders away from the ears. Coming back up, reversing the warrior, lengthening the front leg coming out of this triangle pose let's bend that left knee clasp behind bound side angle coming to the front and lifting that leg find your balance find your drishti point 
and back to bound angle. Arm balance. Up dog, down dog. Now for this next exercise, I'm going to use a strap. If you don't have a strap, skip the strap. If you do have a strap, use it. I always have the, I, I always list which straps I'm using because I do recommend that you get them because they're good all around for traveling, for at home, they're simple. Anyways, we're gonna come laying down onto the belly and we're going to bring the hands just by the ears without touching the ears. And we're going to lift and open the legs lower down lift the chest and the legs off the floor open the legs out and release. let's do 20 of those ah, that's a lot <laughs> lift one lift two lift three lift four five six seven eight nine and ten and one let's lift even higher now two three four five six seven eight nine ten from here hands by the chest by the rib cage and you're gonna press yourself up into plank all right what is posture without core so we are essentially continuing the core series but less abs more chest openers and shoulder openers so we're going to take the right leg up and draw a circle with the knee 10 times, one, two, squeeze your belly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten drop the knees on the ground walk your hands in front of your chest to the floor which again will open the chest softening the breath Coming back up, hands on the ground, downward facing dog, let's jump the feet to one more time by the hands, squat, hold your squat, jump up, hold your squat, jump up, hold your squat, 10 more of those, one, two, three, four, open chest, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, hands behind your head, open the chest, press the elbows back, ooh, that's an opener, grab your big toes and sit down onto your bum holding your toes here in Navasana pull the belly in and reach in front of you 
cross your feet plank <laughs> pull the belly in we're going to bring the right knee between the elbows and kick across either kick across or kick touch across 10 times one two three four five six touch maybe seven eight nine that's a killer ten opposite sides one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten to plank to chaturanga to up dog to downward facing dog coming back to your breath maybe a little vacuum with the stomach holding the belly with the anabanda Imagine your back wide and your chest open here, shoulders away from the ears. Tailbone lifting as high as possible, heels dropping down. Let's bend the knees and jump the feet one more time by the hands. Here we're gonna bring the thighs parallel to the floor and extend the left leg. Side lunge, not low. Thigh parallel to the floor, hold it. Shift, hold it. Shift, hold it. And let's go for 20 of those. One, two, press the booty back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chest open, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's twenty, open the feet out, plie, let's go side to side, moving like a dancer so moving side to side side to side side to side side to side all right from here we're going to open the arms out and move side to side gliding the upper body left to right left to right Palabhati breath. So we're going to bring the hands by the waist, by the ribcage, sharp movement, and exhale as we do that. Such so as this movement, and we're going to do it very fast. That speeds up the metabolism, your fat uh, metabolism, and so forth. It's very good for digestion. It's a very fiery pose. It's good for your digestive fire as well. So it looks something like this. You're exhaling forcefully and the inhalation happens on its own. Belly contracting as you exhale. We'll do three rounds of that. Let's go with round one and we're just going to go for as many as we can. Round two. Round three. Side to side 
stretching and let's shift on to the right leg shifting onto the right leg we're going to draw circles with the left knee and if you need to hold on to something grab a chair or just grab a wall or test out your balance sometimes i do a little bit of both mostly i try to balance to test my balance even though i'm on a soft surface which is quite different from a floor wooden floor so let's go lift and open one two three four five six seven open chest and opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine and last one and coming to the front of the mat if you have a block grab a block if you don't have a block just focus on alignment we've been doing this on membership we started working on working with the block in a forearm balance so that we can build the back in a different way so and you can also use a strap here optional both of them but feel free to use them if um, if you have them so we're going to squeeze the block between the forearms that it is going into our posture challenge because it will help us have a stronger better alignment back chest shoulders and you're going to have the strap just to shoulder width apart. So the shoulder width apart, we're going to bring the block between uh, the forearms and the strap around the, just right above the elbows. We're going to press. Now you can just work with the strap, lift here, lower down, find your back muscles or you can bring it around and take a dolphin pose and hold this, pressing your thumb into the floor, pulling the belly in, the pinkies on the ground as well. You can walk your feet in a little closer and work on your flexibility here. So let's do it. Coming on to all fours, let's bring the back of the right shoulder down, twisting and opening here, opposite side, twisting and opening here. Rabbit pose, forehead to the knees, hands on the heels. Roll forward. Coming on to all fours. Right leg forward, left leg back. Pigeon. Changing sides. Bring both legs in front of you, lower down onto your belly. And we're going to scissor the legs. Or if you're postpartum, bicycles one knee to chest, opposite knee to chest. One, two, three, four. Really engage your post your postpartum or non-postpartum tummy.
legs up and let's lift the tailbone of the floor 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hands behind the knees roll up this class is all props every prop that we have included so grab your dumbbell or weighted block or bowl or book or a jug of water and we're gonna go plie lift plie lift plie lift plie lift plie lift plie now plie lift toes up or heels up plie lift two three four five let's make it a little more difficult grab your dumbbell and open it to the front as we lift one two three four five six seven eight nine ten from here we're just going to swing the arms side to side and under proceed with your day go in for a quick meditation or you can do some of my quick weight classes if you have energy for that I will do a little bit of weights after we're done and move on with my day now for the quick gratitude moment of the day bring your arms regardless of what you're going to do after if you're if you're done with the class or you'll do a little top off bring your hands over the heart finding time in your day to quiet down and pause that is more important what we the pauses between sounds are more important the silent moments between notes are just as important or more important than the notes themselves so the pauses in our day bring us back into our center core connection to to higher consciousness so find take this moment right now to pause and feel the world pause with you the whole mad rushing forward stops and you're here in this timeless moment forever grateful for the beautiful human that you are liking and loving who you are thankful for who you are and thankful for all the parts of your body the sides of your emotional body and mind that you like or you thought dislike thankful for each and every one of them and fully integrating your earthly experiences into your soul because we're taking them with us and we have to be in alignment with who we are on this plane with who we are in a different plane we have to integrate it into one wholesome experience one wholesome lovely amazing you Namaste.